been promised an operation. Question number nine, Dr Paul Hutchison. Order, Dr Paul Hutchison. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Acting Minister for Economic Development and reads, what recent developments have there been that will boost New Zealand companies' access to growth-enhancing capital? The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker, last night I was delighted to launch a new venture capital fund called Movac Fund 3. This fund, Mr Speaker, is specifically aimed at young New Zealand technology companies that show significant growth potential. The government also demonstrates its commitment to these companies by backing it through the New Zealand Venture Fund, government proving that we believe these country, uh, companies can expand to be good in New Zealand and then take on the world. Dr Paul Hutchison. Thanks, Mr Speaker. Why does the government provide funding for the New Zealand Venture Investment Fund? The Honourable David Carter. Very good question. The key to economic growth is to allow these companies to have access to capital, and in that way we can increase substantially the amount of innovation in New Zealand. This government's far commitment of funding to the New Zealand Venture and Investment Fund with a $40 million underwrite last year very much achieved these aims. Mr Speaker, the New Zealand Venture Investment Fund has now invested in over 100 young technology companies, and an interesting study just received shows that of those companies, they have an average revenue per employee of 240,000, which is hugely more productive than most New Zealand companies. Question number 10, the Honourable Steve Chadwick. 